Ethereum. So I'm going to start with Ethereum right now. So Ethereum's up 4.3%, uh, 38% today. Uh, massive loads of open interest, uh, loads of volume today. So a really good time to look at Ethereum because this market is moving and we've got lots of volatility. So let's just start with the daily, guys. Let's go out to the weekly and just do this from the very beginning. So Ethereum... Um, yeah, we have some sort of like long-term, medium-term macro trend line coming along here, which is probably going to actually cap maybe most of the downside on this um, for until it breaks, that is. So if we come up here, I think actually we're probably going to keep bouncing off this level um, before, you know, if for the bears, if we did break it, we'd come lower. Um, but right now, it's a nice significant bounce off this level, guys. Um, we actually did from this level here. You can see a Fibonacci retrace. Sorry, the, the swing low here, guys. Fibonacci retracement. You can see that Ethereum has actually come back from let me just show, draw this out for you nicely so from this swing low here guys the macro swing low we found support three times if you just draw about a fibonacci retracement tool to the high you can see that the retracement did take us to the 786 which is always a good time to buy a market when it's come back to its 786 retracement uh, even if you think the market is going to continue going lower it's still a good time to buy it because it's likely going to get a bounce off it and then that actually offers up an edge for you to place a trade to then get yourself into profit uh, and have a decent stop loss. You can actually put it to break even. Uh, a good risk to reward ratio, okay? Very, very good time to buy those kind of levels. So you can see here we have actually bounced up a 786 retracement. Uh, if we go down a level here to the daily scale, um, you know, I would say on the daily, it's it's not... Um, there's, there's actually nothing right now telling me that this is like bottomed, bottomed because this is the level it's got to get above, guys. Significant... Uh, the, the previous high price here guys in terms of this swing down, you know, it is a parabola down though So, you know, this is you know, it's 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 okay. Okay. Hello, Darry. How are you? Okay? Perfect Um, So yeah, you can see here that we have this uh, You could even potentially see something like that playing out if that is going to be the bottom and that would actually be some sort of head and shoulders formation a wanger pattern we call it uh, so let me flip this back on itself um so it's nothing really telling me right now. We do have a significant bounce, so this is a good sign. But I wouldn't say on the short term, that we're sticking with short-term analysis, I wouldn't be able to say right now on the short term that I have any confidence that this is bottomed. Um, we do, we are actually back above the low here, okay, which is a good sign. We have that trend line which came up here. But I would say that the, the most textbook, I, I would say that I can't say it's bottomed here. We, I would actually say that it probably maybe a little bit more downside on this to then create... A higher low you know that's that would be where my textbook analysis would come to this and say i can't say anything just yet because we still haven't broken any significant levels to, to, for this downtrend you know i'd say that on the short term this probably does come down actually and we get a little bit more downside on ethereum and then if we get above here then i could say okay yeah medium term we could be looking to come up to around here which would be really really and i would say let me just get that actually perfectly let me actually do a fibonacci on this <clears throat> we'll just do a very simple retracement and then we'll do an extension but i'd say that uh, it's probably about right. Why did I change that, sir? Uh, so, yeah, you can see <clears throat> Fibonacci. Yeah, so I'd say actually yeah, this would be kind of the area I'm looking for. <clears throat> a 786 seven, retracement to the to the upside. Doesn't mean that we can't stop at the 618 on this or even actually stop at this level here, which is the previous high price. But well, I'd say probably around in here, guys, would be where Ethereum will stop um, if we do get above here. Let me just reiterate my point right now. Short term, there's nothing telling me this is bottomed just yet. Yes, we've got a nice move here, but short term, I think it could come down a little bit. And if it does come down back back down a little bit, it's going to be waiting on the fact that we'll get a higher low. If we get a higher low, great. Find support potentially here. That would be really, really nice. Higher low, fine. If we get above here, then I'm saying, yes, potentially we're going to come up to around here for Ethereum. Uh, and then I think it's unlikely we get above the high prices um, because you can also see um, momentum is actually kind of agreeing with me on this one. Uh, let's have a look at the stochastic RSI. Obviously, we've got that TTM squeeze in RSI. <clears throat> so a few of these are getting towards that daily overbought region. Um, so it's similar to Bitcoin in that fact. But Bitcoin's a better chart. You know, it's around the same. It's around, the, but Bitcoin's a better chart right now. You know, which is giving me confidence because Bitcoin is right up against its previous high, right on the on the micro. Actually, on the short term, it looks good. You know, this actually looks nice to me. If it just does that now, then fine. You know, if it, if it wants to just get resistance on here. You know, if you, if you were really just looking to trade this, then you could just say sell this. But you have to... Let me just flip back to Ethereum quickly. So with ETH, you know, it's not really... It, it does look quite... It looks pretty decent. Let's have a look at on the four, actually. It just needs to get above here, you know. And then, and then I'm, you know, I'll flip. You know, it's just this level here. It really needs to get above here. If we can get above that now, like some sort of pop like this, and then hold it as, as support like that, 
that's a really good sign guys that ethereum has bottom but it's just not as good as it's just not a good a chart as bitcoin bitcoin's actually right up against it really about to break it it's it's almost there you know it's it's almost there you know i'd say that i'll flip my bias in terms of short term if we get above here now i'll flip my bias in short term and say that this looks pretty good to me uh but on the short term i'd say that it's probably likely to get some sort of uh, lower high on this sorry a higher low <laughs> always get those fucking mixed up higher low and then actually break out later and I think the confluence with a few of the indicators on the daily especially is kind of agreeing with that. And then the four hour, is the four hour oversold yet? Yeah, the four hour is oversold. It's very similar to Bitcoin, you know. And if Bitcoin breaks out of here now, it's prob Bit Ethereum is going to be affected by that. Ethereum will be affected by that. And it could actually just pop it out. You know, I just got to stick with my, uh, like my, my textbook kind of TA on this one and say if it's not above here, I can't get bullish on the short term, but it, it that could change quite quickly. Uh, if we see resistance for Ethereum like that, that would be the ideal situation for Ethereum. A little bit more downside, higher low, and then bounce through it for the spring. But we got to remember that altcoins, altcoins don't have their own personality. <laughs> altcoins have personality disorders because we know that if Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is the king and all altcoins want to be Bitcoin and the, and, uh, and Bitcoin has the biggest personality. A lot of these altcoins can be massively influenced or affected by what Bitcoin does. So if Bitcoin wants to blast through this now, you could see some upwards, set of upwards buying pressure on this, which will push Ethereum above this level here. And if we the higher we go here, if we do come found a support on it, then I think it's likely that we're going to get much more higher prices for Ethereum and that should potentially come up here anyway. That's kind of ETH right now. Let me have a look at a few other things on ETH as well. Let's have a look at some more indicators. Give me a sec on there, guys. Um... So let me go on the daily on this and actually let's, let's weekly this and have a look what the uh, the moving averages look like on Ethereum because they're probably still going to be all looking like they're aiming upwards. So 200 day moving, moving average is still absolutely fine going to the moon. Uh, the ribbon is looking like we're actually in the middle of the ribbon right now. Let's get rid of a few of these. So you can see that we have the 200, so we have the 21, the 34, 21, 34 and 55 exponential moving averages here. These are absolutely fine actually you know they're actually not even aiming down in any way um considering this move here all the moving average is still aiming up you know we've now have you know really actually got back above the 55 which is fine is this this is the 20 let me just quickly um have a look which one this is i think it's the 21 yeah so it's the 21 34 and 55 exponential moving average you can you can actually put the 100 on as well just for a general why is it 99 like who the fuck uses the 99 like what is going on there? So 99 is coming in down here as well. Didn't get anything on that. So that's the main kind of ribbon there we got there. And then we have the bull market support band, which are below. But uh, you can see that, you know, the 200 day moving average is actually coming in pretty much in the middle of those two. The, the This isn't great, but I would say overall moving averages look fine. They're all still facing upwards. We have to see if we can get back above the 200 day. If we come up to the 200 day and we see resistance, that could play into the cards of coming up higher low like this and then breaking out and then last thing i want to mention on eth as well is the freaking invalidation in terms of for the bears if this if ethereum doesn't manage to get above this high now what you're going to be looking for is will it come down will we get a higher low if we don't get a higher low and it comes all the way down here we bounce off this maybe up like that and then we break this trend line some sort of descending formation yes uh, it's likely that Ethereum is going to go much lower and come and test this region here, which is going to be the same as Bitcoin going to $30,000, okay? So that region down there. But yeah, rich rate, short term, I can't say anything just yet. I, it looks good, it's getting there, but it's not bullish on the short term yet. We need to get above that level there. Um, and if we do get above it, medium term, it's going to be good for, I would say, coming up to around $4,300 back for Ethereum, okay? That's what I think on ETH, Legendettes. I did ETH, guys. I 